Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Isaac Umbris, and today we are back in Need for Speed Pro Street. Today we have already become the Street King, but now it's time for us to take on every single race day and turn this map green with envy of our superior speed. And it is gonna be fun. It is gonna be very, very fun. Welcome forward, Shelby GT. How you doing today? I think we should start off with something. A nice little warm up at Chicago Airfield for the uh, <laughs> for the battle machine one. This is gonna be fun. All oh, right, we also have uh, Rio Watanabe's car as well. Uh, do we really want Rio Watanabe's? We could probably sell that after this race. We should sell it after this race. I, I know I know everyone loves the Evo and everything, but we 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 got we got the Porsche. We got the the, the faster. German machine that's in this beautiful purple. Oh, you told me so? I saw this coming a long time ago. Alright, let's do let's do some uh, drag racing. Yes. In the Mustang. Let's do it. Just just to get a nice one, get a little little taste of power. Some wheelies, some speed. I think we'll alternate between the three different uh, race day events. Uh, Battle Machine, uh, React Team Sessions, and Super Promotion. Gosh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be absolutely murdering. We're gonna be absolutely murdering this trip in this Mustang though. These other, these other guys have no idea what's coming for them. Oh yeah. We we have like double double the horsepower compared to like everyone else. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Eight thirty nine. All right, we can definitely go faster. Than that. I was slow off the line. <laughs> but this is just bullying. I got doing 20 second quarter miles. One of them didn't even finish. One of, one of them jumped the gun and we were like, yeah, eight. Eight second quarter mile, like, bruh. This, this ain't even fair. But that, that, that's where, that's where the fun comes in of revisiting the earlier race with like the crazy end game cars. You're just like, oh yeah, let's just shred it. <laughs> 833. At least we're consistent. Holy moly. What's the previous one was what? An 839? 833? Next one should be like an 830 flat. Oh my word. Alright, up against the Civic again. I, 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 do, I do like the camo paint on the Civic. But oh my gosh, it is it is not even gonna be competing with us. I feel I feel so bad. But I'm not gonna just build a slow car just to just to then take on the civics and everything and battle machine. There we go. 788. That's that's a much better run. Much better launch. Perfect shifts all the way down. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that, that should be enough to almost win the race day outright, right there. Oh no, it's not like I'm already the speed king. I've seen these videos of the Tomaton sending messages meant to make the community feel bad. Only the comments be like, womp womp. Up, down, up, up, down, down, left, right. Nah, nah, it's up, right, down, down, down. You gotta do that 500 kilograms of democracy on the automatons. Welcome, Jada Morris. Hope you're well. Remember, it's always good. It's always morally right to bully machines. You know? Beep boops. Beep boop. Beep boops have no rights. Beep boops do not have human rights. <laughs> How you doing today? I'm feeling really, really good today. I'm feeling really well rested, but also very mellow as well. Like no, normally, normally I'm like I have a lot more energy, but like I'm, I'm kind of chill. Like it's it's good, it's good stuff. And we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of illegal street racing 
We're on a stick. I'm hoping we can eventually uh, get to 100% 100% completion in Pro Street by end of the end of the stream today. I think we should be able to. We shouldn't have too too many more more race days to do. Uh, honestly, the mo most that we have that yet to complete, I think, are the battle machine races, which are usually much more shorter tracks, easier opponents. As you see, we're just passing these guys like they're staying still. The Porsche is just absolutely beautiful. I, I do love the, the Chicago airfield circuit as well. It feels literally like an autocross course being part of like the, the, the airfield. A lot of tight technical corners, a lot of good kind of interesting, kind of awkward vehicles. Yeah, so that one exactly. You, you get a little, little bit of awkward corners right there. Car just did not want to turn there. Car was very uh, understeer right now. I meant to adjust a few, a few suspension settings to get a little bit more front end bite. Made a transit made for drag racing in the sand in foot and foot sand drag racing. Nice with all wheel drive and rally tires. Nice. That sounds like a lot of fun. How does how does it handle when it turns as well? Or is it only like for straight line speed? Cleaning up some May boys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Yuki. I mean, I, I I do have the model. I do I do have the made the made Isaac model. So that that's gonna be um, interesting. To see, you see, Pro Street has nice details. Yeah, I like how the the the, the announcers react to your actions and everything and your car. What's a turn? <laughs> Um, a turn is what I nearly been the Porsche on. That's not look back. That's look back. Yeah, you can see the damage on the front of the car. Just a heavy amount of damage. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, actually. Very, very mellow today. Very chill day today. Um, also, though, if you guys haven't seen already, we're going to be doing a Wreckfest collab tomorrow. Uh, with all of... All where where all 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 of, all of my teammates, well, a lot of my teammates, all the UK peeps and everything, going to be joining in and all that stuff. So it's going to be really really cool. Doing that tomorrow at three Eastern time. So that's going to be really really cool. Oh, fuck, when is that? That should be around like eight PM for you, I think, because you guys just had uh, daylight savings. I think. So why aren't you? In your <laughs> Uh, because I'm racing. I'm not. I'm not cleaning. I'm racing right now. Yeah, it, it should. It should. If you go into my channel, you should be able to see the um. Uh, that it should. It should be there. Uh, in your time for the stream time on my channel as well. I have work at 8 a.m. next day. Okay, so yeah, it should be 8 p.m. for you. I mean, Asphalt Dry Car is the beautiful. Ooh, the Grand National. I love the A bodies. The, the GM A bodies. Uh, a lot of them were built right in Baltimore back when uh, GM used to have US manufacturing plants. Super cool. So, uh, that's the, kind of the hometown hero car. Absolutely love them. It's the Isaac Umbris character model available in the Steam Workshop. <laughs> no, uh, I made the, v the v Roid Viewer myself. Using a uh, a program called Vroid Studio, and then I can export it via like mods and everything into games like Lilo Company, or I can uh, you know ha have it in VC Face, where I uh, you know use uh, you know use facial tracking and everything to you know actually have it moving all that stuff. You're a working boy now, so you have, uh, so you kind of knock it after work. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get back into the swing of things, but don't worry, your, your body, your mind, and everything, you will adjust. Plus, it's good exercise, too. You got the 13 to 18 kilometer walk for work while delivering. Nice. After, after your first or second paycheck, make sure you get yourself a good pair of, like, running shoes. 
uh, your your feet, your shins, all of that stuff. They it they will they will thank you. It, I mean, yeah, it's it's definitely not like you know like the most glorious shot, but like it's it's work, it's out of doors and everything. You know, you're getting the good exercise and all that. Not used to exercise, I'm a gamer. Hey, I'm a gamer too, but like I also did a bunch of like cross country and track and everything. And now I just run for fun. Yo, Isaac Dream, welcome Asia Radium. How you doing? I had blisters for like three to four. Ooh, yeah. If you can, get, get yourself a good pair of running shoes ASAP. Um, because otherwise you you are gonna be in pain. The ru the running shoes will be the big a big uh, help in pre preventing the blisters and protecting your shins and all that stuff. Cheeky 360, very cheeky 360. Me put an all nighter just so I'd be sleeping during the base wipe <laughs> outage. Based. Not like you need lights when you're sleeping anyway. We're having an evening homemade ooh, homemade burgers. Those those are so good, especially if you're um like if you, if you mix in if you mix in like other stuff in with the meat. Like I like to mix in um some sazon caliente and some diced up jalapenos and onions in my burgers. And that is that is super good when you grill it. Oh my word, mmm, delicious. Uh, mixing in pineapple and a little bit of like teriyaki sauce as well is also a a solid option. Before I broke my boots, it shooting shooting me in boot camp. I rubbed my heels. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, always good to break in your shoes and get good, well-fitting shoes and to the best of your ability because holy moly, it is, it is, it is not. Oh my word. Oh, protect your feet. As, as someone who used to run um, a lot, and someone who does run, still run a decent amount. Protect your mother fire truck and feet. <laughs> Seriously. Pineapple, that's a... No, no, no. Pi pineapple, when you mix it in burger with some teriyaki sauce, that is good. Like, you mix it in with the ground beef or the ground turkey. And a little, 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 like, little bit like maybe like ginger and stuff. Oh my word. That is so good. 100%, I recommend it. Yeah, see, Adrianium a agrees that that's nice. Like that, that, that is that is a good one to do. The the sazon, onions and jalapenos is also another good one as well. Gonna be running, unfortunately, soon to be ready. Yeah, soon. I don't have the exact dates yet, but I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be like that Imagine Dragon song. <laughs> Imagine Dragon, Imagine Dragon, these nuts. <laughs> The balls of my feet no longer feel anything so hard and I just- Yeah, that, that, that's the thing, like, I still have calluses on my feet from my, my track and cross country days. But, uh, on the other hand, it's, you know, you, you still gotta be careful during, during the time leading up to the calluses and everything. Cause you don't, you don't want any, um, any, uh, any blisters. Blisters are bad. Calluses aren't bad, but blisters are bad. Quarter mile drag. I want to do that one. I want to do some top speed runs in the Merchi Lago, the Lamborghini Merchi. We're almost a millionaire in an EVA speed game as well. That is super cool. I don't know how it's a bad thing. I mean, the calluses themselves can get a little bit, you know, icky and like discolored and all that stuff because it's, you know, hardened skin and all that. But it, it, it does help in preventing the blisters and everything. Like, you eventually, you know, kind of work your body. Your body can adapt and everything. I don't know why feet sucks because you can't really wear the cool shoes. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get, like, the specialized running shoes and everything. In order to, you know... Because my, my, my cousin... Um, and my dad also have very wide feet. I have very narrow feet. Um, oh gosh, save it, understeer for days, um, 
and they had they had to get like the the, the the they do they do make running shoes for like you know people with wide feet and everything. Big thing is go go to your like your local shoe store and everything that pr primarily specializes in running shoes. Talk with some of the sales folks there. Have them kind of you know do some measurements and everything because you for for the stuff where you're gonna be walking or running that long, like you you want a dedicated shoe set for that specifically. Because one you're gonna wear it out pretty quick. And two, you want that cushion, that comfort, and all that. You want some of the heavier, more durable, but also, like, good cushioning shoes. Rather than the lightweight, you know, spikes and all that stuff. Notice that my dress shoes were flatter than a lot of other people's, which is how I figured out I have duck feet. Oh, no. Pixel Gun 3D is on... What is Pixel Gun 3D? I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that at all. What is what is that? Do you know what? I really can't believe what we've been seeing from this street. Weird, that was that was a that was a rapid race. Less than a minute. Almost dominated the race day. Oh, not even close. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Almost dominated the race day, he says. Not even close to even winning. <laughs> Right, let's do some drag. Let's do some drag racing in the GTO. Ooh, that's a nice 3 dc Close con- Dude, I'm in an 800 horsepower GTO. You don't even want to know close contest. Like, this- This ain't even gonna be close. There we go, max grip. Ow. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. That's bad. He's going 3D as a mobile FPS game. They got really popular in the early 2010s. Oh, so they ported it to PC. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I think we may have we we may have been better off getting a, a slower speed car. Uh because oof. <laughs> Just the immediate oof, yeah. Cause you don't you don't want to wheelie because you can't steer when you're wheeling, but you don't want to um, bounce like I did either. Cause then you then you twitch all over the place. There we go. That's a little bit better. Welcome, Mr. Minute. How have you been? That's actually a surprisingly quick time too, all things considering. Memphis showboats just choke. Oh no! How 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 bad was it? <laughs> oh my gosh! G the G this GTO is really scary racing on the autobahn drag strip because it likes it likes to to wander a little bit when you're doing the wheelie, and it is. It, like, it likes to meander just a little bit, so you gotta be real careful when you're doing your launching it down the strip. Just did a test launch with the Regal and holy hell it squats. Ah, oh, nice. That's how you know you got the, 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 the suspension set up right. You're not, you're not bouncing all over the place, you're just like... Just squish down, compressing the rear suspension. Nice. We had a 16 up lead at the start of the fourth quarter. And they managed to blow that, holy moly. That's rough, buddy. That is rough. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Shift, that's okay. We lost 19 to- Oh, so close, too. My word. Oh, my word. That is so close. I'm sorry, man. Hopefully it was at least an exciting game. From who was briefly leaving. Nice. Just barely leave the ground. Just, just a little bit of a wheelie. Just to showcase the power. But you still, you still got the, the, the speed. You're still, you know, not like fully launch, you know, going full nose to the sky. To a grip race. 
Screw you, San Antonio, and you forget the city. Uh, rip to anyone watching from San Antonio. If that city even existed. Oh, we got the Hachiroku, we got the Su- IS THAT A SUPRA?! And we got an Evo as well, a bunch of JDM machines. And then we're just- we're just in a heavily modified Porsche. Oh, this ain't even fair. We should- we should've taken the 240SX. We should've taken the 240SX. Oh boy. Alright, we need to go into that just a little bit slower so I don't lose speed on the S curves. I'm, I'm going a little bit too deep onto the corners, trying to like absolutely push. There we go, there we go. The thing with like these vehicles though is they're so fast that like you can, you, the, most of the tracks can't even like, can't, can't even use nitrous. Cause you you're already like at like 130, 140 miles an hour. Like this is faster than like a GTLM car. This this is this is faster than you know even some prototypes probably. Like it is genuinely like speedy. Talk about going bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Like this is speedy. Extra speedy. Oh my word. There we go. We may end up actually lapping some of them. If we do, I, I, feel, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, we may actually lap the, uh, the, two, the, the, the Hachiroku. Oh, almost lapping. The eight six. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> oh, we buried them. When he announces this is not even close, you know you're doing well. We 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 are pulling off that Max Verstappen and Red Bull with synergy right now with that Porsche. Holy moly. Oh my word. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, let's end it with the speed challenge. This is what happens when you bring endgame cars to anything that isn't like the the the, the most difficult of super promotion events. Red Bull vs. <laughs> three cars. Ah, I feel so bad. But at the same token, you know, it's 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 open restrictions. That's what I'm saying we can't drive drive these vehicles. Oh gosh, we got a clapped out 240 in a Civic. And now, now, now we rubbed up against a Lambo. Oh, this is, this is sad. <laughs> this is so sad. The Niamborghini Perciolago. Oh gosh, that sound though. And the speed. Oh gosh, right. Keep it under 240. Keep it under 240, Isaac. If it's higher than 240, it's it's gonna uh it's not gonna turn. Cause the rear downforce just massively begins uh outpacing the front downforce above 240. And it just it just doesn't turn. Like you only wanna keep it like 239. Like right there, there, thereabouts. No more, no less. Oh my word. They're not even through the first bank turn yet. Gosh. <laughs> no, it's not even fair. 
We we are bullying them. <laughs> we are absolute. To be fair, this thing bullies even the nitro side cars. The only the only thing that can even come close is if I like absolutely bin it, which happens more more often than not. Like. I'm really good at building the, the, the speed cars and everything and getting them just to absolutely shred. Oh my word. Gotta be careful though, this thing... There we go, and across the line. <laughs> across the line. An entire two minutes faster than everyone else. <laughs> Although, you know, be a fun challenge is a no vehicles bot, a no vehicles bot playthrough, where you, you can you can switch, where you where you can switch cars around in classes and everything in different disciplines, but you cannot buy any new cars. You have to use whatever cars you bought or whatever cars you win. Max Tune Evo would be the only thing close to the line by error, I guess. Or like a Zon like one of the Pagani Zonders or like one of the other like high-end exotic cars like the 4 GT or something ridiculous like that. Like, you know, you you would need You would need something that's got some some good speed. Let's go to Portland. Let's get let's go let's go to Portland. 911 Turbo GTO Corolla Mustang. Yeah, this has got the wheelie competition event. This is gonna be a fun one. You know, people said Ryan Cooper was just too raw. That he wouldn't be able to cut it when the racing was legal. And I've got And now we are the street king. Because <laughs> he has just been amazing at pretty much every Alright, let's do the drift. This this is not a lot. Uh, of corners in this drift event, so I'm just gonna need to absolutely just send it sideways and try to just abuse the game's uh, physics as much as possible to just send it through the corners. It's weird how like the most OP drift car in the game is the one that's like the least powerful just because of the way the game calculates scores for the drifts. There we go. Because the slower it is, the closer to top speed the game thinks you're going. And therefore, you can go through both the high speed and the slow speed corners. Pretty close to what the game thinks is your top speed. And because it's so lightweight as well, you can hang an absolutely ridiculous angle when I'm one track. And it is, it is just absolutely silly. <laughs> So you can hang a high angle at what the game thinks is close to max speed. And it's just like giving you points. Just take all the points. Take all the points. <laughs> it's the same thing with the sector shootout as well. Is it takes your, your car's base power to calculate how long it'll take to get to uh, the next sector. And that's how it calculates the rate of points decrease. There we go, there we go, that's a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, Pro, Pro, Pro Street is a very easy game to exploit. As fun as it is, it is a very easy game to f kind of exploit the rules and how the game kind of calculates stuff and everything. Um, so when, once you're kind of, you know, in a position and everything, once you've played it enough, you basically know exactly what kind of cars you need for certain events. And it's why, like, you see a lot of people, you know, choose like this, or like the 240SX. Or some of the other, like, really, really slow Japanese tuna cars. For, for this event. There we go. Bonk! There we go, that is exactly what we needed. It's <laughs> 60. 6,600 some points. A little bit of cosmetic damage. A little, a little bit of love taps from the wall. 
No issues whatsoever. <laughs> never again? Uh oh. Hey Greg, how you doing? What is what is never again? I'm worried. I am worried. What is never again? <laughs> What, did, did, did the final race turn into a, a, a cluster? I mean, it is it is SRX is on a road course, so that's probably about the case. Those cars are just bad. Yeah, I was I was watching a little bit of that of the stream and everything, and just even people like Reska are like twitching around. It is it is crazy. Like it it is kind of fun seeing people try to control those beasts. Six hundred horsepower, no grip. Why is a 288 GTO with more than a 512 cluster risk? Whoa, that was a weird lag. Why, am, why is my game lagging on that? That was weird. It's not fun. Yeah, it definitely looks very, very challenging. Like, it, it doesn't even, it looks just very, very difficult. -y. Very, very difficult. It's like driving with ice the Yeah! The group five cards. <laughs> oh, the top three iPhone, all of them are like 3k plus. I mean, it might be better on Oval. I'd at least give it a shot on Oval, because it's it's Oval is at least a little bit smoother. And they're at least kind of designed for Oval racing. But yeah, on road courses, it they're they're not exactly designed for road course racing. 100%. To answer the question, Jaden, it may be... I mean, the, 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 the GTO is basically could almost be thought of as, like, the, the F30. It is still a very rare, very high dollar Ferrari that has been rapidly appreciating in value IRL, too. So, that, that, that could be part of it. In-game, I wouldn't know. I know in one of the games, the 288 GTO was a barn fine car. I don't know if any of the other one, any other, if it was a barn find in any other game, but that could also be a reason. And the performance too. The 288 is still very quick. There we go. More speed, more power, more grip. Come on, max grip. Ah, oh, just incredible burnout. Now no max grip. Pain. Pain. I mean, wasn't the 208 meant to be made? Yeah, it, it was. It was kind of made for like rallying. It was mostly made for Group B touring car racing more than anything else. Because a li little bit of a lesser known fact is the um the group B the group B was also a touring car series as well and you got vehicles like the O37 and the, some of those running in group B touring car races too so you know it was more so designed for that instead of rallying but yeah it's not fun if you want hard cars you have fun and use the street stuff yeah I, I, I mean fair enough fair enough Still, at least at least you learn. At least you know you gotta gotta race in and everything. Got the laugh with Tar, you know. Got the laugh with the the, the bros and everything with the, the, the how silly the vehicles are. Anyway, let's 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 see if any of these chaps can be close to our Porsche. We got three JDM co or Japanese cars. Wait, no, the, the, we got the Focus as well. So not even Japanese, three tuner cars, and then <laughs> the Porsche. Oh, it's quitting. Ah. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. You're, okay. Oh, well, hopefully you find something to, something else to, you know, kind of occupy your time and everything. Yeah. 
Isn't this uh, the Portland track? It is, although they add another chicane, another uh, sharper chicane down at the end here. Uh, they, they sharpen this chicane out um, as well, so you get a little bit more energy regen. But yes, this exact version right here is the version used by IndyCar. It's basically America's Monza with the, the, the sharp, the, the very heavy braking zone into this sharp chicane right here. It was, it's also been used by uh, other racing series as well in the past. I'd love to see it uh, in other racing games. It's a very underrated circuit. It's a very fun track too, just because of how short the laps are. So anything from, you know, regular street cars to, you know, full on racing cars can, can actually compete and be, you know, fun to drive on here. It's, it's one of the few good things that Portland has. <laughs> Short like me, yeah, exactly. Short like me, but filled with a lot of love. Taking the von Stroheim route from from Georgia, putting your trust in German science. Yes, German science and a massive amount of turbo boost. I get what you mean. <laughs> I can fool you with. Oh gosh, D don't! Don't! <laughs> oh gosh, what, what, why? What, why, why? I. I do. I'm a bonk ya. I'm a bonk ya. Ne next race, we're on track together. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bonk you. I'm, I'm, a I'm gonna give you a little nudge. I'll show you exactly how much love I can. How much love I can give. <laughs> Can I do a sub-minute lap? I'm literally breaking the IndyCar lap record in a Porsche. A uh, little bit wide running through that corner. That's going to slow me down. Eight, nine, minute. Damn. We need to time you up. <laughs> Nah, we don't need a timeout. We just need to put a collar on him. <laughs> I need to go for my mom's seat. All right, take care, Greg. Tell her I said hi, okay? Tell, you, tell, you, tell your mom some random guy in the internet says hi. <laughs> Speed. But with uh, Portland International, uh, AG Radium, they do also host a lot of uh, IHRA and NHRA uh, drag racing events too. Like the, the 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 drag strip is part of like the main straight. Like if you go into Google Maps and you look at Portland International Raceway, you can you can see uh, the drag strip just south, just south or just below the main straight. And when they run half mile events, it does go on to the main straight as well. So it's it's kind it's kind of fun seeing that. Uh, so honestly, Portland, even though it does do a lot of like circuit events, it is really, really well known for for the drag racing that happens there too. But then you have uh, Sonoma. Sonoma also is a drag ship in the the infield section uh, that goes into basically the shoot and everything. So, but but both those tracks. Both in uh, Pro Street and in real life, you know, the, 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 the drag strip is exactly what the drag strip is in real, in real life, in the game. Yeah, it's super awesome. And I think, I'm not sure if it's still there or not, but on Google Maps, if you went on the street view, or in the drag strip, it was kind of cool because you got to see two of the Google Maps cars racing on the drag strip next to each other. And it was kind of funny seeing that, but it was also really adorable. So, like, that that was really cool. Yes, yeah, I can put a wing on the Testarossa and I can rate the one from- Yes, the one gun Midnight Testarossa! Beautiful car. Mmm. -hmm. I'm kind of sad there were no Ferraris or Ferrari analogs in any of the Tokyo Extreme Racer games. 
That would have been so cool. Like, we got the Blackbird in uh, Tokyo Extreme Racer 1 and Tokyo Extreme Racer 0. But it would have been really, really cool to see, you know, the, the, the Ferrari as well. I think that would be awesome. Oh gosh, that was a weird bump. Yum. <laughs> oh, the speed. Yes, please, give me the speed. So check it out. Me and a couple of the other super promotion guys got into it lunch today because we were talking about Ryan Cooper. I don't want to bore you guys with bloody details. Ten grand? Yes. It's not like we need any any more money. Gonna make like 800 horsepower? Something crazy like that. I know, um, like mo mo most of the Wonga Midnight cars are, you know, in like the, the high end of like what would be, you know, like the top level of like things like the Midnight Club and all that stuff. So, you know, it is, it is possible. Sub 8 second run, what the hell? Oh yeah, no, if you tune your cars like especially to um if you tune your cars right, you can you can get uh sub seven second runs as well. It is ridiculous. It is genuinely ridiculous. The the, the, the crazy stuff you can do with, with the cars in this game. I don't know enough about uh no, I don't know enough to get like sub six six, six seconds. But I can get it consistently in the sevens. And it is ridiculous. Even made only 450, and realistically, Devil Z didn't send a chance in hell beating some of the cars. That... Well, the big thing with the Devil Z was it had a heavily modified uh, L series engine that had like a twin turbo twin turbo kit on it. It was producing like you know 600 some horsepower, and it was super lightweight too. The Evo was better for like the the, the Shinkanjo route and like the C1 loop because of the maneuverability it had. But even still, it was, you know, one of the slower vehicles. But most of them were, like, for, like, the actual Wangan Wangan. And they was speedy boys. Yeah, it's face meltingly fast. Like, I know in the GTO, I can get it into, like, the mid-sevens. If I'm really, really good. But I gotta, I gotta be careful with it. Same with the, 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 the old charge, or the old charge I can get into the sevens, like, super easy. Ah, oh, speed! 650 horsepower, but there was an 800 horsepower R33. It could have been, it could have been the gearing as well. But yeah, no, like, like, a, a lot of racing anime definitely has the protagonist uh, with a little bit of plot armor. You see that a lot in, like, the, um, um, initial D as well. Takumi's got the crazy plot armor of, like, going up against, you know, vehicles that have three times his car's uh, horsepower and just, like, smoking them. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. There we go. Boom, seven six six. <laughs> there we go. That's one of the better runs. Like for Akira to have that kind of speed, we need some long gears, or just a better power band, maybe. Like if if the, if the GTR is super peaky, you kind of need shorter gears to compensate. But then you might be like bouncing off the rev limiter for like the final gear, and like risking break uh, blowing the engine. Oh, come on. Give me some grip, boys. Yes! Alright, let's see if I can't go in. Uh, can't go faster than 766. Seven, six, 763! Hell yeah! Going to a Grizzlies game tonight? Oh, nice! Make sure you have a lot of fun there. Take, take lots of pictures and everything. That's gonna be really cool. You going with uh, any family members or uh, 
Just do, doing, a, doing a solo run. Seven six three though. Oh man, that was fun. That was nice. Ooh, time attack, rip, rip. Good time, Mark. Oh no. I mean, on one end, that's really cool, you know, show, showing the, the legacy of the player on the team and everything. On the other hand, you know, it's, it's, it's always a little bit sad as well, because it's like one of those, like, you know, they, they, they were one of the greats, but now, you know, you know they're not, you know, now, 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 now they're not really showcasing the greatness anymore. Now, now it's only, you know, memory and records and all that stuff. It's a double-edged sword. It's, it's bittersweet, seeing that. Oh, gosh. We are gonna die. No one else, no one else in number 33. No tributes. Oh, but it's still really cool though. You know, I, that, that, to, get, to get your jersey, to get your number retired, like that, that has gotta be, you know, a big, big honor. Basically saying no one else can replace you and the legacy you left on the team. Like that is, that is awesome. Oh, the understeer on the Porsche. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, that's, that's the only downside of the Porsche. Like, it's grippy. It's fast. Like, it's got crazy acceleration. It is very good over the bumps. But my word. It is just a little bit, a little bit understeery. The tatter in January and the jersey time is the biggest on us. Yeah, like it is it is a huge huge honor especially so soon after retirement as well But my word and it's, 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 it's definitely bittersweet oh, There we go saved it All right, let's see if we can't go any faster Holy cow already over 200 miles an hour on the back straight Bonk. I heard they were planning on retiring Tony Allen's jersey. Oh wow, when, 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 when did he end up uh, retiring? Wait, ha 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 has he retired yet? Oh gosh. This is why I don't read chat in a high speed left hand corner. <laughs> Still retiring Mike Collins jersey when he retires. Jeez, that's that's a, that's a lot of retired jerseys in such a short time. He must have, he must have had a lot of good players though. Alan retired a few years back. Oh okay. Still, that is a lot of jersey retirements in a very short amount of time. Wow, that's impressive though. That that, that, that is genuinely impressive. Sage Street tire package, yes please. In any racing sports games, my go-to number is always 42. Nice. Get the the the, the legendary 42 number. Yes. I usually like going for a 722 if I can. I like going for 722 if I can because that's the, the Sterling Moss number. Absolute gentleman racer. What? How many jerseys are like? Is there a tire? How many? How how many have they retired? They they got to be running out of numbers or something, right? Like they they've had they've had a lot of good players for their team, I think, right? Oh, is it the story jacker? Yes. Absolute masterclass of of a baseball and just showmanship and everything. Really cool guy. Would have loved, would have loved to meet him. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I. Yeah. All right, up against a whole bunch of muscle cars. Thirteen numbers. Oh my gosh. 
they, 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 they're gonna run out of numbers to use at, at some point if they keep retiring numbers. Like, holy moly. 13. Alright, come on. Let's get to the tight, twisty sections. I like how this doesn't even have the SR20 engine, it has the CA American truck engine in it. CA or KA engine, one of the two. But even still, like it is it is a speedy little uh speedy little fastback. The little the little hatch the little um 240SX little S S13. Such a good little car. <laughs> No SO20 engine, o on only the, the American engine we got. The lower powered non turbo engine. And the Celtics have 23 number. Oh my word. That is a lot. That is so many numbers. You, ba you basically have almost a quarter of the usable numbers retired. Like, that is ridiculous. Ooh. Like, if they keep that up, they, they, they are actually going to end up running out of numbers. <laughs> You, you join you join the team and you're like, alright, you get choice of two. Pick wisely. <laughs> like that is that is that is kinda crazy. Just how many numbers that have been retired, holy moly. Forty-nine second lap time. Don't mind if I do. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Let's dominate. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. Uh. We're, we're gonna be getting really, really close to 100% because we don't have too, too many left. In uh, this side, we got three, five. Seven race days left total before before we're at a hundred percent. So that's gonna be hilarious. Anyways, marks uh, one thirty three. Oh, sorry, marks thirty three will be second number retired in franchise history. The first being Zach Randolph. Oh wow, nice. F one driver selling the meaning of the numbers. Kimi Raikkonen. Number 77. <laughs> what was the first? Oh, sorry, not 77. Number 7. That was the first number I thought of and it wasn't taken. <laughs> uh, Kimmy, Kimmy is, Kimmy is hilarious. I like, I like Kimmy Raikkonen. I want, I want to see him do more racing. I would love, I'd love to see him do, like, other types of, like, stuff. Just because I think, I think he's still got it, like, in terms of, like, you know, racing ability and everything. We've had some absolute fireworks today, ladies and gentlemen, and I would expect nothing else on the 2061 metres of heavy sea. After all, yes. this is the holy land of drifting. The south coast was the very first track the Japanese drifters used after coming down from the Mount Passes. Heavy is really one of the most arduous and technical... Yes! Alright, let's do some drifting. Let's slide the Corolla. Let's see what we can do in this thing. It's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. Japanese car on a Japanese drift track. It's real old school. Wow, there's a GTO. Alright, that's new. I wanna see Shane Van Gisbergen do- Yes! I, I, I wanna see- I wanna see him battle battle with the other big dogs in Nazca. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool to see. Thank you. 
Ah, oh, I lost. I killed my momentum there. Oh, that wasn't great. That wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It could have definitely been a lot better. I think I think we could have definitely gone just, just a little bit faster through that final corner. Gain just a little bit more speed before trying to go sideways through there. I think I think that may have been may have been better. There we go. Alright. Let's cut a little bit inside first to kind of swing it around on the outside. There we go. We can swing it around the outside like this. There we go. That's better. A little bit better anyway. A little bit better. We lost the Nitrous Baroness, but we got a better line through there. Which is honestly what we wanted. It's difficult though. That's one of the downsides of the low power. The low power drift car is like the Corolla, is it's very difficult to get it through the, the uphill drift courses like this one because the car just doesn't have a whole lot of power to really get you up to speed. The downhill drifts are easy enough, but the, the uphill drifts are... you gotta really, really focus on conserving your momentum through here. There we go, there we go. No, that's not right. Ha! Ah. <laughs> if I was just a little bit quicker, I probably could have carried the momentum at least through there. And then got back on the throttle um, just after the apex. That's just a long straight for a car that you're going to be going, you know, very slow through. Wasn't too, too bad though. Could have been a lot worse. We should, we should have, yeah, we did break the track record. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Alright, now time for some speed challenges. In the Niamborghini Perciolago. Ah, <laughs> uh, the purple Niamborghini. Oh, it's such a cute, it's such a good little car. It's powerful as well. All, almost a thousand of horsepower. We have... Basically, if you took the three engines of the cars we're up against, put them together, they'd have the same number of cylinders as we have in the Lamborghini. And probably about the same amount of displacement as well. That's funny. Oh, uh, we're gonna be bullying them. Two thirty-five. Are any of them breaking two hundred? No, one fifty-four. Just, just cut the course there. It's all right. As long as you don't hit anything heavy, you're good. <laughs> two twenty-six. Oh, this is bullying. Yum. Oh, I gotta be real careful though. This car, it is terrifying going at this speed. Oh boy. Yum. I'll get to that in just one second, Jaden. I gotta make sure I don't die. Alright, there we go. Am I the one that wants to see the Rolls Royce Le Mans? This thing is 17 foot with barely an almost song. I don't know if it'd be homologated and uh, or if you could homologate it to be racing at Le Mans. Maybe as a garage with six car, but even still, that would be a very tricky ask for it to meet the, the, the proper safety regulations. Like, oh my word. Like, that, that, that would be 
absolutely, absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, it's, it's even funnier because the the, the 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 there's a Bentley that was named after the Molson Straits. So they have a Rolls Royce, which is kind of like the rival company to Bentley, barreling down a straight instead would be hilarious. I just spent the money. I do it for the memes. <laughs> the memes. The DNA of the soul. Oh boy. Come on, through the tight twisties. Through the tight twisties. Oh gosh, very tight twisties. Back this way. There we go, there we go. Ooh. Maybe with the jump. Nice, 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 nice. All right, give me a little bit more speed. I'm gonna see if I can't go even faster. We do have a little bit of a straightaway, so we can use the nitrous. But then you have the really tight tentacle section here. Oh my word. And if there are no regs with Garage 56, they could give enough power to send. I think there's a minimum fuel efficiency and safety. There's definitely safety regs. There is definitely uh, safety regs uh, that it has to meet and everything. So you, you need to completely strip out the interior. You need to get you know a proper chassis and everything for it. Like it wouldn't be just a, a, a stock Bentley. So much power, he's in a shuttle and orbit, and so much air, you think we mistook it for a bike speak event. You gotta be careful though, because, like, with that, you don't want a whole, whole lot of aero for uh, Le Mans because of the sheer amount of straights. Like, it is a low downforce track, even with the twisty sections uh, before and after the most sun. But yeah, <laughs> it is it is a tough one. Like you, you definitely want a, a lower, a lower down force, lower down force build for that, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, we're up against some decent performance vehicles now. We got the Supra. Yes, we do have the Supra, the big soup, with all the, all, all the, the multicolored. All the multicolored body panels, it's definitely been damaged quite a bit. Like a custom underbody for ground effects. I mean, it's long enough to have that ground effect, so maybe. But you, you'd still need like a full on like, you know, uh, interior, you, you need a full on like interior strip. Swap it in, swap in, you know, roll cage, racing seats, five point harness, all that stuff. Fire extinguishing systems, fuel, and um, electrical shutoffs. Like, you you would need quite a bit still to convert it to race spec. Like, that, that is a lot of, of work to do. Oh, gosh. Easy. Easy, easy, easy on the bridge. There we go. All right, we got through. We got through the tough part. Now we can go full throttle through the banking. Yes. Give me speed. <laughs> a little bit of a bounce there. Just a DT GTD driver getting out. Outbreak by a Rolls Royce. It looks like Adrian knew he was given unlimited budget to work with. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. I mean, it'd be difficult, but you could, you could probably convert it into like a race car, you know? You do have the Bentley GT3s that turned the Continental into a, that, you know, built the Continental into a racing vehicle. Granted, 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 they, they swapped the W12 for a V8 instead. But yeah, holy moly. Not 
There we go. There we go. Now that's a Chicago airfield. What is this one? Texas. Let's do it. Let's do Texas. There we go. Yeah, it has the wheelie competition event. So we get to drive the GTO, get some serious wheelie time. Some serious wheelie distance. That's gonna be fun. Okay, listen up people, Texas finest have asked me to remind you that <coughs> street racing is illegal and dangerous. Do not race on the way home and always drive the speed limit. <laughs> okay, okay, I did my part. We got a lot more coming up this afternoon. Yes. No, no, no street racing on the way home, all right? Only, only at the track. It's a shame that this is the only, I think this is the only time this track is preserved digitally. I have not seen Texas World Speedway in any other racing game ever. Me proposing idea at a Rolls Royce, they aren't buying it. The ones on the board that are, that are bored. Nah, let them cook. Let them cook. Now who who owns? I'm trying to remember who owns Rolls Royce. Is it Volkswagen? No, Volkswagen owns Bentley. BMW owns Rolls Royce. So you may you may be able to get some BMW execs on board, and maybe some BMW factory support of creating a Rolls Royce uh, Garage 56 car for the memes. That would be cool. Put in put in some BMW parts and everything. Get, get, get some of the BMW engineers. Po poach, poach them just a little bit. I think Volkswagen pretty much is the gym. Well, no, because BM BMW is not owned by Volkswagen. Uh, Opel is owned by the French, by uh, PSA. And Mercedes, Mercedes is its own thing as well. So you do, you still have some uh, independents and other like large conglomerates in in Germany as well. But yeah, no, like like Volkswagen owns a lot. Like Volkswagen, Volkswagen they own Lamborghini. Volkswagen they own uh, Ducati. They own, um, they own Bentley. They own Porsche, they own Audi. Um, like they, 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 they do, they do own a lot. But then you have BMW that owns Mini and Rolls Royce. And I forget Mercedes may own something. Go to the sea with BMW asking for an engine. You know the engine made from the Glen F1? Yeah. Give me one, but bad. <laughs> Just, just, you just use gold foil to help deflect the heat and everything. Now it's no surprise we have Ivan Tarkovsky out there. Ivan's really made a name for himself <laughs> in the last couple of months. Rio hmm. Montanabe's really been pushing the guy. I think he even sprang for the tuning of that Evo 9. It's not like Ivan doesn't deserve it though. But he's behind the wheel. Oh my word though, though this speed. Alright, let's do some oval racing. Oval racing in the 911. I, I want to see this go... Even faster. Same horse, but just more fuel efficient. <laughs> more fuel efficient in the Bentley, uh, not the Bentley, in the Rolls Royce. Oh my word, that's gotta be, that's gotta be tough. I was like, welcome Shark Killer, hope you're doing well today. We are trying to go for 100% completion in Need for Speed Pro Street. And we're gonna be doing a little bit of oval racing at Texas World Speedway. This track no longer exists, IRL. It has been demolished. But we still get to have its memory live on virtually in a Need for Speed game, which is really cool, honestly. Oh my word. The Porsche is just so quick. Oh 
my wish. Oh my word. All right, so it goes it goes to the speed cap at 250 miles an hour with nitrous on the back straight. Without nitrous, it's kind of hovering right around like 240, 243. I gotta be a little bit careful. I do use so cardio ship tech players. We got it in there for our remodel. Oh no, did, did they lose the licensing rights for certain cars? That's that. That's unfortunate. Philip. Welcome, Philip. Hope you're doing well today. We are, uh, been some over racing in a Porsche. 30 second lap times. This is like indie car level speed around this oval. You know, at 230, 240 miles an hour going through the bank turns. Absolutely mind boggling speed here. Oh my word, give me some grip. I, I think Remodel may be like, they, 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 they lost some models maybe? Or like, so there, was, there was some licensing changes and everything. So they, 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 they not all the vehicle. Yeah, so they, 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 removed, they removed some cars from the shop, okay. Yeah, probably due to licensing stuff, but Ferrari and Bugatti are Particularly uh, finicky with the licensing. <laughs> Just a little little tap on the wall there. Four laps in two minutes. Easily break the track record there. Boom. Nice. Stage four. We already have stage four suspension for the Mustang. That has been like the only stage four upgrade we have gotten in a very long time. We need other stage four upgrades, please, game. <laughs> I want to eventually get these vehicles up to like their maximum performance. I've got to be able to use 300 plus. Yeah, so it's probably it's probably like a licensing issues. Which is unfortunate, but that's that that is that is the nature of the beast, especially in a live service game. Is sometimes you end up you know lo losing access to content you previously had access to, and if if you didn't have it, or even if you did have it, and it, it's gone now, well that's unfortunate. That's why I, I'm not a big fan of live service games as much, because because your stuff can and will be taken from you without your consent and it's just you 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 you're just kind of stuck with it oh gosh this is dreadful <laughs> that was not good my ferrari uh sf90 yeah and that's that's probably going out to you too you probably don't have access to it We can definitely do better than that. We can do much better than that. We need we need a little bit more a little bit more speed through there, I think. We we were not we were way offline, way off angle for that. I think I think we can definitely get up into the four thousands, maybe even five thousands. Alright, there we go. Up to eighty. Nitrous right at the dirt. Driving your Nevian. Oh, cool. The 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 180 SX mi mixed with the Sovia. That sounds like a lot of fun. There we go. That this is much better. That is much better. We got our we got a Hachiroku here. Beautiful little beautiful little uh, teal bean. Absolutely wonderful for drifting. The, uh, the S13s, here, your Nevios, the ladies, and 180SXs and all that stuff. Th th those are good vehicles for drifting, too. Very lightweight. Uh, make can make some solid power, but still just very lightweight, solid chassis and all that stuff. 
so it makes them it makes them very predictable for for drifting. And with a big, massive aftermarket for those vehicles as well. Doesn't the rule say that the Garage 56 car gets an overall podium? It isn't. That is correct. The Garage 56 car is not racing for overall position. The Garage 56 car is basically just a test car that's there as a, you know, as a showcase car. It is not actually competing, competing. So, nice. So you, you, it's basically just as, used as a test bed for technologies and as a showcase for like that. Like NASCAR and Hendrick Motorsports, they use it to test the hybrid system that's going to be introduced on the, the stock cars come 2026 to be used on like pit road and everything. Like the super impressive, nice. Very, very so, cool. Hey, look, let's get the GTO. Do some wheelie competitions. The mod. I wish the modern GTO got a lot more love. It is such a good. It's such a good looking car. Like, I, I absolutely love the way this vehicle looks. It's it's basically one of the few all like Australian cars for the American markets because it's basically a, a Holden. Um, I forget what it is. It's basically like a Holden HSV or something like that. Which, and then you have the, the Pontiac G8 slash Chevrolet SS, which is basically a, a Holden, a Holden Commodore for the States. And it is really, really cool too, but that didn't sell well either. Which is a shame because, like... Who, who, who doesn't want, like, you know... Who doesn't want a, a high-powered sports sedan? You know, to, to carry on the family and haul ass on the highways. Right, Are there budget caps for NAWC or IMSA classes? Um, there's no budget caps. But the car does need to be uh, amalgamated. And it's a, it's a fairly strict rule set as to what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. Like, you, you don't want, you don't, you know, for, for the, the, the GTD class, you need, um, you need a vehicle that is GT3 amalgamated. It has to be a GT3 car. For, um, you know, obviously LMP2 cars must be an LMP2. And there's very strict regulations on what counts as a GT, uh, GTLM or an, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the top class. Ow. That wasn't great. I think it's funny how literally the idea for the WX was like... Ooh, that was close. Why would we make an off-road sedan when we make plenty capable of trucks? The guy making the pitch. His off-road sedan. Well, that also, it was during the 90s Japanese bubble economy. You guys ready for this? And it was when Japan was, like, competing against each other on the world stage. You had Toyota, you had Mitsubishi in the Group A, in the Group A classes uh, as well. And so... You know, Subaru didn't want to be the one left behind, so you, 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 they were like, okay, well, our legacy, the legacy, so the legacy was their vehicle during, like, the 80s and early 90s, before, like, it got too big for, you know, racing and rallies, so they were like, alright, well, it's a smaller car, the Impreza? Alright, let's just make a rally version of that now. And they did it, and again, they got some serious success and everything. Subaru? Yes, exactly. Like, like, it was basically a, a means of, you know, for lack of a better word, it's kind of showcasing the brand and everything, you know, win on, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. And also as a means of uh, techn technology development as well. Because they're, they're, they're all-wheel drive systems that a lot of supers nowadays use 
um, were kind of developed directly from or are evolutions of the the, the, the Subaru uh, four-wheel drive system used in rallying in the 90s. And it was, uh, yeah, so, so it was also a, te a technology development time as well for a lot of these Japanese manufacturers. Like, you got Toyota experimenting with a lot of different, like, force induction trickery. You got Mitsubishi again with, with their Evo and all that stuff. Like, the, the 90s, the early and mid-90s, when the Japanese economy was, like, doing really, really well. So they had a lot of money to make these, like, racing machines and everything, these high-end sports cars. And it wasn't until like the turn of the century uh, when the Japanese bubble market kind of burst and they went into like a massive uh, economic recession that they kind of began pulling out of motorsport and everything. Which is a shame because like the 90s you had so many cool Japanese race cars. I wonder if any of the iconic cars from any country were just made for a YOLO thing. And I was like, oh damn, the car is actually fast. Um, probably one of the closest ones for that would be the, uh, the Lamborghini 350GT. That, that one was kind of basically a YOLO thing, where Ferrucci Lamborghini, after becoming successful selling tractors and all that, bought a Ferrari 250GT and was like, oh, you know, I'm noticing some issues with this car. You know, let, let me modify this just a little bit and then kind of sh share my notes with Enzo Ferrari. And Enzo Ferrari is like, bruh, just stick to making tractors, you suck. And that annoyed uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini so much that he's basically like, alright, we'll make our own car then with blackjack and hookers. And they, they did. And it was named the 350 GT because it was 100% better, 100% better than the 250 GT of Ferrari. But literally, literally the Lamborghini exists today because of Italian beef between Ferrari and Lamborghini, which is hilarious. Like, like that is... <laughs> Like that, that is like the, 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 the silliness of it. I mean. No, I mean seriously, like, so someone insults you, you're just like, alright, I'm gonna do it better then. And you, by some accounts, do make a, you know, a high end sports car that may or may not be better than the Ferraris. Like, honestly, we should thank Enzo Ferrari for his hubris. Because without him, we wouldn't have so many other cool cars by other manufacturers. A lot of car companies exist because old man Enzo Pisano. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we, we have the Ford GT. Which kind of helped spur Ford into sports car racing and everything. Which then gave Carol Shelby, like, the big chops to make a lot of, like, the cool Shelby Mustangs and all that stuff of, like... The late 60s, early 70s. Um, you got Lotus with Ferrari calling a lot of like the smaller British teams garagistas working out of a shed, which pissed Colin Chapman off enough to get um, Cosworth involved to create and collaborate with Ford to create the dual four valve, the DFV engine which absolutely dominated F1 to the point where it was used even in the 80s despite being created initially back during the 60s. Like... <laughs> like it is ridiculous, the sheer amount of technological, technological development and changes to the automotive industry that were created because Enzo Ferrari upset someone enough that they were like, screw you, I'm gonna do it myself then. It's like that, when you try to be a bigger person, then they say, that's what I thought. Yeah. At, at that at that point, like, that, that's kind of why I like Enzo Fry. Not because he was, like, a great person or anything like that, but literally because he upset so many people that he spurred enough competition to, you know, make these other cool beasts. And because of Cosworth, that allowed Lotus to be, you know, what it was, you know, in the, the 70s, 80s, and 90s with all that, you know, F1 money and everything they were getting. 
So we got cool cars like the Esprit. We got cool cars like the Lotus Carlton. Um, you know, the Lotus Elise and all that stuff. All of those exist because, you know, the, you know, Ferrari kind of upset Colin Chapman. <laughs> Like, it's, it is ridiculous. Oh my word. <laughs> but no, like, like it is, it is so cool. Just the, 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 the different, like, intertwining automotive stories and everything. And how, like, certain characters keep popping up and everything. Like, Lee Iacocca. That dude was responsible for so many cool American cars. Like the Dodge Viper, you know, saving Chrysler with the minivans and everything. The, the, the you know, the, the, the Ford GT, the Ford Mustang and all that stuff. Like, it was ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but super cool too. Like, my word. The BMW 7 Series, the V12. Oh yes, I love the V12 BMWs. They, they are crazy difficult to work on, though. Like there, there is not a lot of space in them to work on them. But oh my gosh, this is the 7 Series from like the 90s. Oh my gosh, those those things look really, really good. Nice. There we go. Full power. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> <laughs> My timing was wrong. My timing was very wrong. Sorry about that. You know, it's cool. You don't really get the Pontiac versus Pontiac uh, brand uh, announcement, which is really cool. So to, to, to see the announcer go, oh yeah, both of them are driving Pontiacs. Like, that doesn't happen often in game. Which is silly, because the Pontiac, the Pontiac GT, especially the modern one, absolutely tears up the half mile with its, with its top speed. Like, oh my word. <laughs> and then the poor Civic. We're, we're, we're making five times the horsepower of this Civic. I don't, I don't, I don't think we're gonna be uh, seeing them anytime after the lights turn green. Yes. And then give me some nitrous, some more nitrous. 11.83. Jeez, and if it was going any faster, it would lift up into the air. Nice. That is exactly what we wanted. Uh, you know what else? I saw Bradley Hunter earlier in his 1970 Chevelle. If you want to make a match, call him Brad. <laughs> it's a good way to get him off his butt and onto the strip. Oh yeah, you know what? Tell him I said so. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Do some nice grip events. L let's 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 take some corners now after doing some straight line performance running. Let's see what we can do in the Porsche, in the pork, in the beautiful purple pork. Oh, you can hear that Chevelle as well. It's a shame. It's a shame the muscle cars aren't good in grip races in this game because, oh my gosh, it sounds so good. But you just, you just don't want them. You don't want to drive them at all. You want something a little, little bit more maneuverable, or a lot more maneuverable, honestly, with some good, with some good gearing and quick shifts. Muscle cars are basically only good for the drag races in this game, and pretty much nothing else. They're not really good for drifting. They're not really good for the the, the drift, uh, for the grip races, or the even the speed challenges. They get really bouncy. 
But you put them on a drag strip though, and they are basically like you can't go wrong with them. Ow. <laughs> I say that while I'm already spinning out of Poetia. It's alright. It's alright. Oh, good. Okay, get around the turns. Nice and easy. We're getting close to 100% completing all of this. I think we have one. One, uh. React Team Sessions, one Super Promotion, and two Battle Machine events after this. And it's gonna be so cool. Hopefully, we can, uh, take this out without too much issues. Without going too crazy. And then next week, we will be doing some, uh. PS2 version of Need for Speed Undercover, the super jank version of that. But I'm gonna love the jank. I'm gonna love every second of the jank. Let's get to see just how silly it is. Alright, there we go. Around the turns. Nice and easy. Speed and power. There's not enough space for Vico as powerful as the Porsche to use uh, the Nitrous here. There just isn't. Like, it, it is so tight and tentacle. You're, you're, you're just hanging on and hoping for the best. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Nice. We still, break, we still broke the track record. We still broke the track record. That is good. Alright, gotta repair. We already have 25 repair markers, but we may as well get another one. Oh, my, my, my cat has joined. Hi there, kitty. You wanna say hi to the people? Do you wanna say hi to the people? Nah, she, she, she's just chilling over there. She's just chilling. She's just vibing. Just, oh, now you're coming over. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Hi, you wanna you wanna you wanna talk into the microphone? No, okay. I just I just have a cat in my lap. I have a, I have a very soft bean on my lap. She's such a sweetheart. Absolutely love her. She's gotten to the point where even nowadays, um, when when she, when when when, when I come home and everything, she will like lay on top of my feet, and she would like just knows like just should try try to like cuddle me and everything. Then I'm like, let me at least get through the door, you silly cat. I'll, I'll, I'll pick you up. I'll let you, I'll let you lay in my lap and all that. Nope. Just, nope. A human, my, my human is home. Let me, let me lay you on their feet. Such a good bean though. She's absolutely sweet. She's spoiled, but she's spoiled sweet. I, I love, I love my kitty. I love, I love my little kitty. All right, come on, let's go. Full speed. Let's not crash into the rear of the 240SX as we shred through the chicane. There we go, much better, much better, much better. Big push. All right, we can definitely go faster through here because we don't have a, uh, a Volkswagen in our way. There we go. Big difference in the sector record broken. Hopefully we'll be able to break it again in the final lap. So I want to get closer to like 3.5 thousand points here to break the records, the track records. May have to go just a little bit balls to the wall here. There we go. There we go. That's enough for the sector, uh, for the track record to be broken. But I'm still gonna be pushing hard. Try to get one or two more sec uh, sector records broken. We do have one 
one more nitrous shot. So maybe... Come on. Ah, uh, okay. Nope. Push just a little bit too hard there. Damn. <laughs> oh man, that, that push is too fast for some of these uh, events. For some of these tracks. It is a fast car though. It is really grippy. Okay, we at least broke the track record. That is good. Alright, let's do Drag Race to finish this off in the Mustang. A wonderful little Mustang. <laughs> let's see how well we can do with this. Alright, Ford versus Pontiac. Ford versus GM car. Oh, this is gonna be really good. Yes. There we go. Nice. Boom! Uh, Shakalaka! 776? <laughs> yes! Just, just, just a few seconds faster than everyone else on the quarter mile. Just, just a little bit. Just, this just shows the speed difference in what you have versus what your opponents have at the very early section of the game versus at the very end of the game. Like, this is, this is kind of ridiculous, the performance gap. But it's fun, though. It's still fun, though. Nice. Boom. Boom shakalaka. 779, a little bit slower. But right around the same pace. Let's see if we can't get into this uh, 7.6 second range. We're getting close. We are very close. But I'm not too sure how much faster we can go. Like, I'm going basically right right at where, where we can go and everything. And so and our, our, all, all of our shifts are like, you know, like perfect or near perfect. Seven eighty one. Oh, just even slow it. Damn. <laughs> ah, pain. But still, that was super close. Super consistent runs down the quarter mile. Very, very nice. There we go. All right. Four more to go. Four more racing events to go through. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Our final, our final React Team Sessions event. Let's get the Turbo, let's get the Mustang, let's get the Corolla. And it's 240SX for, for good measure. I don't think there's half mile drags at Mundello. I think it's only quarter mile drags. I don't think there's any section of the track that can host a, a half mile. Let's do let's do some drifting. Some sideways sliding, some sideways action. Hopefully we can do some good stuff. I think we can. I think we can. Ooh. 
Nice. Love the S15. Love the livery on that. Beautiful car. Alright, let's go. There we go, down a gear. Nitrous around the hairpin, back up into second gear. <laughs> Almost 8,000 points. Just, just, just a little, little bit of domination as a treat. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they do not know what's coming for them. They do not know what's coming for them. Back again this way, and to the right, and to the left, around the hairpin. Nice, just a little bit better. Almost to 8,000. Someone already totaled their car. <laughs> How do you total your car? How do you total your car? There's no, there's like almost no place to crash fast enough to wreck it. Like, it's just, just a little, little fender bender, but like, actually total, total the car. How do you, how do you do that? Need for speed logic. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's kind of silly. Ah, oh, almost. Couldn't quite get to 8,000. The crazy amount of points we got. <laughs> oh my word. Alright, that, that should be enough already to win the race day. Or get close to it. Like that is, that is brutal amount of, uh, amount of points right there. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it's like the shootout on the club circuit. Yes. Let's see it. I want to see how well we can do in the Porsche on the club circuit. Doesn't have a whole lot of corners, just a bunch of straights. Super tight and tentacle still. Despite the, the, the low amount of corners, just because there's not much else. The, the straights are super short too. So this is going to be, this is going to be really, really fun. All right, let's go. All right, car is a little bit sluggish through the through the uh, the hairpins, but it's got enough power to pull it out of that without too much issue. Boom! Oh, man, brakes brakes on this thing. I need to brake it before. The, the, the sector shootout the, before the sector is over. If I want to get a good run for the second sector. Oh, I just barely missed it. Oh, Mazda went off. I think I went off a little bit too. Send it up the inside, give a little bit of a nudge. There we go, alright. Better run through there. Very bad run through that corner though. <laughs> Trying to get through the first sector really, really quick. <laughs> the track is too small for the Porsche to be effective on. Like, holy moly, it's making way too much power. Like, this is something you race, like, 200 horsepower, like, you know, little tiny tuner cars or, like, you know, a spec race of Fords or something. Like, holy moly. Alright, let's see, let's race on the, the GP circuits. A little bit longer per track. A little bit more manageable, I think, in the Porsche. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> a 
Mandela's a fun track though. I absolutely love this. I'd love to get an ACC mod, uh, a set of Corsa mod for Mandela. Like that would be that would be super cool to see. Boom. Boom. Nice. Alright, easy through here. Watch for a little bit of understeer on the uphill. There we go, there we go. Keep it under control, keep it under control. Go, 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 go. Big push now. Nice. Nice and smooth. Okay, come on. Let's keep it up. Oh, absolutely loving this thing, though. Just the, the, the sheer amount of acceleration you get out of the corners. The power of the Porsche, the grip of the all-wheel drive. It is, it is so nice. Alright, first lap done, underway. Very quick, very rapid lap. Nice. Alright, we're way ahead of Kawakami. And yeah, the two drivers as well. Doing really, really good through here. Mostly, a little bit of understeer still suffering from that. Yeah, hello Isaac. Welcome official, hope you're doing well today. We are working on getting to 100% completion of Need for Speed Pro Streets. Having a lot of fun here, enjoying ourselves. We This is our final React Team Sessions event. Then we got one more uh, Super Promotion race day. And then two more Battle Machine race days. And it is going to be an absolute blast going through that. Oh gosh, a little bit, a little bit of understeer, a little bit of twistiness through there. Ooh. Hi, welcome one to one to Uwu. Hope you're well. We are, oh my gosh, struggling with this Porsche at the very tight, very technical Mandelo Park in Ireland. Super cool track. Again, wish this track got a lot more love too. That's the one thing Need for Speed Pro Street did really well was the the, the the track variety. They got a lot of really cool underrated tracks that like a lot of people haven't heard of, but like are still really really cool. Getting the race there and everything. It is very very nice. Very very fun. Do some drag racing in a Mustang. We got an Eva that's more powerful than us. Oh, skill game screen on four. I, I get that, but on the same token, if I scale it to full, then chat covers up the game and I cover up the game. Otherwise, uh, then, then that covers up other parts of like the, the, the heads up display and everything. That covers up data that people want may want to see as well. So it's it's give and take. I've kind of built the streams more for like people to watch on on um on you know PC and all that stuff. I, I know I know it's a little bit difficult to watch one for, and I apologize on that front. But if I scale it up and everything, then like chats cover it's one it's hard to see chat and two uh. Chat, uh, chat, and myself cover up a decent amount of the game. Like you see, the, this data at all four corners eventually, and so with that, 
You know, a, 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 no matter where I put myself, I'm going to be covering. I'm going to be covering it up, or chat's going to be covering something up. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit difficult. So I, I apologize on that front, but uh, this is kind of the way I'm able to get the most amount of space without, you know, anything covering anything else up. All right, us versus the Evo. JDM versus American Muscle. There we go. All right, let's see how we can do with this. Ooh. Oh gosh, very bouncy. <laughs> very bouncy in the right lane. Almost a second slower, oh my word. So right lane, right lane is a little bit buggy it seems. The rear, the rear tires are just clipping through the, uh, clipping through the grounds. <laughs> oh no. There we go, stage your suspension. There we go, nice, 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 nice. Alright. Let's do our final super promotion event. And then we got two more race days before we have 100% completed Need for Speed Pro Street. Chicago Airfield. Let's do it! 911 Turbo. Let's get the GTO, Corolla, and let's get the Mustang. Things are half mile, things are quarter mile. Gonna be great. <laughs> Yeah, the Chicago peeps are really, really rowdy. <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this half mile in the GTO. Gonna be reaching upwards of 240 miles an hour by the end of the race. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. All right, here we go. Nice, full burnout. Nice, max grip, let's go. Boom. 200. And even more nitrous just to finish them off <laughs> sub 12 sub 12 second half mile how gucci though right on our tail it's gonna be real real interesting seeing how fast uh, they go next round around all right oh us versus a supra is that a supra that is indeed a supra that is a very speedy super, gonna be running right around 12s or 11s, maybe even. I know this one is a particularly tricky event. Oh, never mind, they false started again. Massively false started too. Boom. Welcome, Greg, welcome back. How was the trip with your mom? Hopefully it was well. <laughs> we are almost 100% complete Need for Speed Pro Street. Just three more race days, including this one. And we are dominating the drag strip. We are smoking Supras. On the half mile with our wonderful GTO. Absolutely loving this beast. Two, one. Oh gosh, miss shift. <laughs> miss shift. Oh, we gotta be careful. There we go. Oh my word, that was way too close. Oh man. <laughs> 
go. Check it out. There's a guy from the Apex Glide team. It looks like Paul Trask in that skyline out there. I thought Paul couldn't get behind the wheel of a car anymore after he got busted that last time. Seriously, it was like a 3 a.m. SWAT team raid. The cops shut down both sides of the highway to get him. Ooh, all right, we got some drift events to do. Let's do, let's do, let's do some sliding around the airfield. Let's see how well we can do. This is usually designed for a little bit more powerful vehicles, but uh, our, our Corolla may be able to suffice. A Corolla may be able to suffice. Ooh, that's a beautiful RX-7. I love the livery on that. That is a beautiful livery on that RX-7. Boom. All right, nitrous. You want to start out wide. Don't want to hit the gantry. I right, gotta be real careful going sideways through here. Oh, thankfully, if you tune the Corolla correct, you can just kind of slide it sideways, sideways without it losing any grip or uh, any uh, speed. So you can just hold the e-brake down. It's just sideways, the same speed is slowly slowing down. Such a good vehicle. Let's go. Let's try to try to use a little bit more speed through here. Run it out a little bit wider. A little bit better. A little bit better. Exactly. Good job. Nice. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, final run. Let's see what this beast can do. Sub 200 horsepower little Hachiroku. Absolutely adorable little trip machine. And the cheapest way to absolutely destroy drift track records. There we go. One point more than the previous run. <laughs> Which is just one point better. That's hilarious. Boom. Oh my word. Oh, we got stage four force induction. That's that's good stuff. That's that's a little bit better. Right, let's do some group racing now in the pork, the big pork, the om nom pork pork. <laughs> yes. Let's see what we can do here. Waiting, waiting for the loading screen. How y'all doing as we're waiting? The anticipation is killing me for getting 100% completion on another game on stream. Ooh. Oh, that RX-7 is nice. Like, that M3 is also really good. Mustang's looking pretty nice as well. But none of them, none of them compared to the pork. Boom. All right, full push. Full attack through here. Get the front end of the bite as much as we can, anyway. Yes. Give me the speed. Boom. Boom, through the chicane, no issues. All right, completely clean. Let's see, let's see how much we can, uh, we can beat this by. I 
I just realized we, we don't we don't have our uh, heads up display currently for the uh, the timing sheet. Nope, not that one. There we go. That's the one I wanted. All right, 40 seconds above the, 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 the predicted time. We can definitely do a lot better than that. We got a full lap ahead of us. All right, come on. Ah, yeah, they, they, Yoshihara is actually somewhat close to us. I'm looking at the timing sheet, they're only 10 seconds back, like that is, that's not a whole lot of time, like they're going pretty quick. Uh, they're, they're the ones in the, uh, the RX-7. That RX-7 apparently is a very rapid vehicle as well, in-game. There we go, that's, that is a beautiful track record broken. That's another one down. We need one more race win. Let's do some drifting. Finish it up in the Corolla. The Rolla Lola. The wonderful Corolla Lola. <laughs> and then two more battle machine events. Gosh, we're making great time. Absolutely rapidly destroying the- Oh, I love that Mustang! I love the look of that Mustang! That is a good looking Mustang! Holy cow! Alright, this one's gonna be a little bit interesting. We don't have a whole lot of power. So we just gotta really kind of swing that booty out. Back around this way. There we go. That's a decent, that's a decent score. That is a very good score. Just gotta really, really keep it nice and smooth all the way through. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Bellissimo. Grande Corolla. Go. Alright, a little bit of night just to get a little bit of extra power. Give me the speed. <laughs> mm, not as good. Not as good. Little, little bit off there. We still double the next best driver's points. Like you, you can't, you can't fault us for that. You can't fault us for that. We did good. We did really, really good. Boop, boop, boop. Let's roll. Boom. Just full speed through here. More nitrous, more speed through here. Ah, uh, okay. Not quite, not quite enough. Still decent though, still solid. We did well. Nice. That's, that's still enough for us to uh, dominate the race day in spectacular fashion. So check it out. <laughs> Me and a couple of the other super promotion guys got, got some more money. We were talking about Ryan Cooper. I don't want to bore you guys. The SRX is details. terrible. Yeah, I, I, I heard you mentioning that. And I saw um, David talking about the SRX as well in his Discord chat. He's like, oh yeah, this 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 is not a car for road courses. It definitely seemed very, uh, very twitchy. Very, yet it, it kind of tests your patience quite a bit. 
Ooh, we got Willow Springs. No, we don't. We have Portland and we have Nevada. Let's do Nevada. Let's let's do Nevada first. It's just bad. Yeah, I know you you mentioned that. That's unfortunate. But hey, at least then we can practice. At least we can practice more for the the, the V for H race at Spa and everything. So that'll be that'll be fun. That'll, that'll be that'll be a good run. That'll be a good one to run. You know, we were just talking, and in my opinion, the best guy I ever saw on Route 318 was Rio Watanabe. No right. question. This is the first place. That's just dying, spinning, and crashing. Oh, that 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 that's how that, so you know it's it's a fun it's a fun race. <laughs> when no one when it's just survival. Well, anyway, let's let's do some drag racing. Let's do. Oh no, not told. Why? Ah, uh, okay, that's gonna be fun. Oh well, let's 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 focus on some drag racing. Let's see how fast we can go in the desert. Thankfully, we start on the right side. Oh gosh, we almost wrecked it anyway. <laughs> almost wrecked it anyway. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was scary. The wiggliness of it. Oh my word. Wow. If you win, I mean, when is it angry? Holy moly. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, it wants to go left. Why do you want to go left, Pontiac? Twelve eleven. All right, that's not too too bad. Oh man, this this is one of the tougher tracks to do the half mile uh, half mile drag because it's the the road itself isn't straight, and also it's very bumpy so your car you you risk rolling a car in a drag race going through here <laughs> like it is genuinely terrifying that's what makes it fun though is the difficulty as well there we go boom oh we almost we almost uh got disqualified there right at the very like last second before we would have gotten disqualified <laughs> and this shows in the time too 11 8 yes please holy moly yeah, i think like five hours i don't know i definitely think if we're going to do that next time it should be like only short track racing because that's kind of what the vehicle is built for it's it's not really built for road course racing and definitely not a a, a, a bump for for that. Uh, it's exclamation point car fact for uh, automotive facts. Uh, eight balls for asking questions. My apologies uh, for which OBGT. Uh, let's do some drifting in the Corolla. <laughs> Uh, this will be the last time we get the Racer Corolla in-game, I think. This and the next Drift event will be the last time we get the Racer Corolla in-game. We've already hung up the, uh, the, pine, the, 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 the Lamborghini. <sighs> Sorry. It's, uh, exclamation point car facts. And I need, to, I need to add more. I need to add so many more. I'm probably gonna do that later tonight, add some more. I need to create a list of all the ones I currently have. And then uh, add even more to that. 
There we go. That's a solid score. Almost four grand. A little too safe. There's barely any corners. Where am I supposed to drift, my dude? We still got, what, three times the amount of the next best driver? <laughs> He's just roasting us. He's like, oh, you didn't get 5,000 points on your first run? Wow, I didn't know you were bad. I didn't know you were Warish. Isaac Umbrish, Warish. And yet still stinky. It's a little bit better. There we go. Is 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 that is that better for you? Is that better for you, Big J? Is this one Big J? Is this one J Mac? I think this one's J Mac. Super stinky. <laughs> yeah, just just a little bit stinky. Just just a little bit stinky. I'm gonna be showering later tonight. I'm 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 only a little I'm only a little bit stinky. Only a little. Wee. Oh my gosh. This thing is just struggling on the uphill as well. That may be enough to beat it. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> oh yeah. We got the absolute mega score there. And we got, maybe we got as well. Yes, please. Here we go. Give that, give that to us. Give us those parts. Yeah, let's, let's do, let's do some group events. <laughs> oh my word. We get to rig the race, the pork, the big pork. The speedy pork. I don't I don't think they're gonna be able to beat us. Boom. Yum. And goodbye. Mom, can we have Watkins Glen? Mom, we have Watkins Glen at home. Watkins Glen at home be like. <laughs> It's so narrow, too. And, like, backwards. Oh, gosh. But you look at the map, and you can kind of tell, like, they, they, this is, like, discount Watkins Glen. It's so weird seeing it like this. Oh, my word. Like, it's so, it's so so fast that we're doing like sub minute or right around like one minute lap times in the Porsche without even using nitrous like it is ridiculous the speed all right watch yourselves for the chicane a little bit dicey all right let's use some nitrous now let's see how fast our next lap can be 40 second lap time. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. All right, full nitrous lab. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Laps and laps are my opponents in a three lap race. Oh, they're gonna be, they're gonna be back markers. Ow. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> oh. Um. I, I think we were a little bit quick in that race. Holy cow. 
the guy looks like he's walking away with a handful of first place finishes. Alright. Come on, Cooper. These other drivers gotta eat too. Let's do let's do some drifting to finish us off. And then one more race day afterwards. Can we 100 percent the game? I think so. It's gonna be pretty easy actually. But it's still gonna be fun. And then next week we get to do some me for speed undercover. The janky PS2 version, the best version of it. It's gonna be so much fun. Alright, next gear. The best knee for speed. <laughs> Bro, you, you you should stream. You should stream knee for speed pro street. Not not pro street. You should stream knee for speed undercover. Yeah, I mean, you should stream more than Eve Speeds in general. People would watch that. People would watch the fun. Like, they're fun games. They're very fun games. We gotta, we gotta work on your schedule anyway, either tomorrow or Monday. It's gonna be fun. Getting the pictures, getting everything set up. Looking forward, looking forward to watching some of your streams again, too. I don't have the need for speed though. Do you have the obligation for acceleration at least? Hopefully you at least have the obligation for acceleration. <laughs> Holy cow. 7.4 thousand points. No. Do you, do, you, do you have the propensity for velocity? <laughs> I am running out of euphemisms to describe need for speed. There we go. All the way down, e-brake, just slide through the dirt. A little bit better. Nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, good way to end our run with the Corolla. Absolutely love this little bean. This little bean car. Okay, but seriously, nobody's talking about anyone except Brian Cooper this weekend. He's buried under all those first place finishes. Gimme, give gimme give that money. Gimme, 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 gimme. Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Hmm. All right, one more race day, one more race day. Can we do it? And it's a short one too. Two drags and two uh, and two grip races at Portland, ending it on the West Coast. At a track I do quite like as well, IRL. It is a very fun right, track. Next is a half mile drag where we get to do unspeakable things to our competition around the strip. <laughs> oh. oh wait, I picked the Mustang. Okay, so it's only gonna be a, a slight domination. That's sad. Oh well. We at we least get to give, give them a, a shot at beating us then in the Mustang. Do unspeakable things. <laughs> don't don't call and three me with that face. Don't don't call and three me with that face. Gosh, it's just dying on on the the second half mile or the second quarter mile. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, don't ooh me, don't no, oh no, don't ooh, ooh me. We're driving the Mustang on the quarter mile. Oh whoa. 
notice notices you're brewing out. Oh whoa, well, what's this? One point about driver is three. It was released in June fourth, oh four. Four months before the release of GTA San Andreas. Oof. So San Andreas completely blew it out of the water too, because Driver 3 I know had a lot of a lot of issues. Check the DMs fast. <laughs> you calling three me even in DMs. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh gosh. That is that is the perfect meme though, is the, the sign writing. ABD in style. <laughs> yes. Just extra stylish, colon three. Oh my word. That was some good wheeling too. Boom. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I like how you don't blow your engine when you're bouncing up the rev limiter as long as you're in your final gear. And in style, yes. Very stylish, colon three. It's stage, stage one nitrous package. We don't want stage one, we want more. All right, let's go, let's do some grippies. Let's do some grippy racing in the Porca 911. I need to watch the stream back. Which one? Oh, the the oh gosh. You 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 want you want to see just how bad how bad of a race? <laughs> I don't know. From when I tuned in, everything, everyone was doing pretty solid. So I don't I don't quite understand like where all the chaos happens. Cause like I watched like one of the two of the heats and they were fairly clean. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm a little a little bit surprised about that. The heats, yeah. Oh, when you guys had even more people. Oh, the main was where it got bad. Okay. That's unfortunate then, because I was watching the heats and I'm like, okay, this is actually some pretty good racing. A few sketchy moments, but like, everyone's being respectful of each other, everyone's, you know, everyone's being chilling. You know, they're, they're, they're kind of coming to terms with the cars. I, I guess in the, the main heat, everyone just kind of maybe turn off their brain a little bit. Combination of that, I guess, just more people on track or something, just made it extra uh, not fun. Boom! All right, down a gear. Use a little bit of curbs. Oh my gosh, I love the sound of the push in the, the black box Need for Speed games. The buzzy, the buzzy boxer engine. With some crazy turbo sounds too. Yum. Alright, final run. We may end up lapping them again. Ooh, WrestleMania. Ooh, cool. Any anyone in particular you're rooting for? WrestleMania. <laughs> you got you got Samoa Joe with a eight and a, eight and a third percent chance of winning, and you got the. You got the freaking nature with 120 point something percent chance of winning. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Laps you like a boss.
You see the run, uh, the Neefs, the Neefs, the Neefs game running on the Battlefield graphics. Oh yeah, the Frostbite engine. A few of them are running on the, 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 the Frostbite engine, I think. Sort of see some good matches, some good storytelling. <laughs> yes, that'd be kind of fun. Man, that was a total banger. Seriously though, what about Ryan Cooper? Yeah, but you're basically the, I don't care who wins, I just want it to be close. Good, good fights and everything. Mm -hmm. All right, final run. Makes sense to end it with the drag race in the GTO. Ooh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Against all the little front row drive tuner beans. And then we got the GTO. Like, don't, don't, don't mind me. Just, just entering up. A freaking 1,000 horsepower car against, you know, street tuners. Ooh. Oh, run had some battlefield left there, but oh, cool. I imagine they probably used some of the assets as well when designing, like, the worlds and everything with the sheer amount of, uh, terrain and uh, biome uh, variants in the run. Like, I, I wouldn't have surprised if they used some, like, assets from, bat like, the Battlefield uh, games. Like, especially, like, trees. Like, a tree is gonna be a tree, no matter what game it's in. You know, certain buildings can probably be used in one and in the other, or, like, you know, simplified version of that stuff. If you're gonna be creating the assets and everything, you may as well have, like, a, a shared library. That way you kind of, you can reduce development time and all that stuff. 7-3! <laughs> that is the fastest I have ever gone. 7-3. Holy moly. Okay. Alrighty then. Wow. All right, let's see if we can't go any faster. Let's see if we can't go any faster, because that was some, uh... Wow. And boom. 7-4, okay, so 7-3 is still the fastest we have ever gone. <laughs> My word, though. That was quick. You know what, if anything, I'd say that this has been a real Ryan Cooper weekend. We might as well just change the name of Battle Machine to Ryan Cooper. Ryan, Ryan Cooper, Cooper Machine. Machine. He's on, like, like, every we are now Ryan Cooper Machine. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that is it. We have 100 we have 100 percented Need for Spree Pro Street. All kings defeated. All of this. We have beaten the game thoroughly. Spanked everyone. And next week, we get to start Need for Speed Underground. So with that being said, uh, not Underground, Undercover. I'm being dumb. We could be doing Underground as well, but we've already done Underground once. So with that being said, I'm going to be ending the stream here. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, please leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what I'm doing well in the comments down below. If you didn't like the stream, please let me know what I'm doing poorly. So fix it in the future. With that being said, I'm Isaac Umbris. Wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is for you, May it be a great time, and I will see you all in the next stream. Until then, take care everybody, bye bye!